I just fired up the matchbox with some small sticks and a piece of cardboard and a piece of wax paper. And uh, this is how I started. And it's even with the door wide open or with the front completely wide open, it does not smoke back at all. So it's pretty good that way. Um, when the riser is warm, it's good that way. So this is how I started. I put a, some small sticks in there. They're all small twigs. And then uh, once they're once they're going pretty good, I uh, put some other. Uh, I can start up my bat, and I usually start with some some smaller stuff like this, like this. Put a bigger one in top here. I could probably only fit. I could probably only fit three. It's a pretty small, pretty small uh, batch. So those three logs right there. Can't even see to the back. <laughs> it's so dark. I don't have my. Uh, I don't have my flash turned on. But once this fire kicks on, like it's starting to kick on now. Uh, once this fire turns on, she'll brighten up in there. And this is uh, my first batch, and this is how I get it started. I don't usually, uh, I don't baby it too much. And it draw, it'll pull a lot better with the front door on. I'll put the front door on now so it'll pull better. And uh, since I wasn't really sure about the air to fuel ratio, and I haven't built my front door yet, I've just been using this aluminum front door. Um, I wasn't really sure what size of intake hole to have here, so I've been running it. It seems to run best when I put this on here like that. So that gives me a uh, that gives me a pretty small intake, but. I was told that the intake is supposed to be pretty small anyway, so when it's uh, the smaller the intake is, it's like a venturi here. It sucks, it pulls harder in that one spot, which is where the coals are. So, pull, so it's pulling air in right where the coals are, super fast on the bottom of the fire. So it's like blowing on the coals with a billow. It's like pumping. It's like yeah like pumping on the coals with a billow but constantly because it's constantly pulling fresh air in right there so it doesn't matter if I take the door off if I take this front door right off it doesn't matter if I run it uh, if I run it with this door on like this it doesn't seem to matter but as soon as I put that as soon as I put that on there like that you can hear it it doesn't smoke back when it when the front door is open but uh, this is a five gallon 20 liters bucket and 
when I go out to my woodshed, I fill up this bucket, and on a on an average winter day, I fill up this bucket up once, and I burn it once when I get home. When I get home from work or um, in the evening, I'll burn the I'll burn the stove or I'll burn this bucket once. On a super cold day, I'll burn this bucket twice because I'll light it. I'll light the stove in the morning and when I get home at night. But on an average day, when I wake up in the morning, it's, all the mass is still hot from the night before. And as far as I can tell, uh, I've only used about in maybe an eighth of a bush cord, like half a quarter of a bush cord, maybe a quarter, between an eighth to a quarter of a bush cord. That's how much I've used so far. And we're only, uh, or sorry, we're about halfway through the winter now. So this thing is super efficient so far. Um, burning hard hardwood elm for the most part, this dead elm. Uh, I'm not cutting down any living trees because I don't like doing that. Uh, so there's lots of dead trees out there and they make good hardwood. So that's what I'm burning is dead elm. And so far I'm really pleased with this thing. It's so efficient. Uh, the mass stays hot. I'm burning, as you can, as you've seen before, my, the batch it only holds like three or four sticks in a batch depending on how big your sticks are. So, uh, yeah.